Hello, Solar Moon here, and here's another Sunbox tutorial. Yeah, it's been a long while since the last one, um, but I decided to make a short one today because I wanted to test out a video editing software <laughs> that got updated recently, and I thought, well, why might uh, why does ugh, might might as well create a, a Sunbox tutorial video talking about something I haven't covered yet, which is the filter module or filter section, I guess you could say, inside of the analog generator. Um, Filtering, of course, is a very nice effect. It can be used effectively or incorrectly, you know, uh, it's a nice tool. Uh, but rather than using the filter module, you can also use the filter inside of the analog generator. So why should you do that? Well, we'll see why in a few seconds. But firstly, let's hear our test uh, mo uh, melody right here. Okay, very basic, very basic, but not too bad. Um, so usually you use a filter to kind of uh, take out the stuff that you don't want to hear. You can use it to kind of clean things up and, and uh, bring out certain elements of the sound to kind of make it feel a little more rich. So with a slight low-pass filter, um, I guess you could say pretty, I, I, well, yeah, pretty heavy, I guess you could say, apply, applied to it. It's all going into the filter, of course, uh, and a little bit of resonance. Here's what it sounds like. Right, so it sounds pretty similar, almost the same, but this is where this stuff comes in. You see, if you have the uh, filter envelope on, either sustain on or sustain off, it will go through these uh, two, the attack and release, I guess you could say time zones. <laughs> Basically, the filter will, will wrap up from zero. You can see it there. It go, goes from zero up, uh, up to our, our target frequency here. And with release, it goes down back to zero uh, when you, I guess, you know, let, let go of the, the sound. So basically, this would be the release tail. But anyway, the point is, you can use this to kind of make the filter c come in later, after you start pre uh, playing the sound. So you can hear it as I tweak it. And of course, release kind of uh, does the opposite effect. Uh, if sustain isn't on, sorry. And exponential frequency, of course. And exponential frequency, of course, uh, allows you to um, have this rather than be rather than being a linear curve um, where it goes you know up from from zero to a hundred percent. It's exponential, so it's kind of a different curve. You can hear it mostly if you tweak this uh, frequency with it on. You can hear it's a lot more um, low end, well, without the envelope on. Yeah, so it's really nice and useful, really something else. So that's it. I just wanted to cover up, a, uh, cover a little bit about the analog generator's filter, and uh, hopefully you can find it useful. I use it pretty well uh, sometimes, kind of getting into using it more so now uh, by using or having the frequency be a little high with the resonance. Uh, pretty good, you know, maybe midway, exponential on, nice amount of attack, and having the uh, sustain on on the envelope. a cool little effect a nice little kind of a <laughs> funky uh, beginning to the sound anyway that's it i just wanted to cover a little bit about that uh thank you very much for watching i've been solar loon and hopefully you'll find this useful yourself as you make music with sunbox all righty you have fun see ya